think about touch? Does it mean anything to you? Is it important to you? Is it important to people in general? Well, let me tell you that I think that it is important for everyone. If we're not touched when we are really, really young, we simply won't develop normally. Touch deprivation early in life very much changes the equilibrium of your nervous system. You will be become more sensitive to pain, you will become more sensitive to stress, among other things. So in the society that we live in today, we have put the individual very high up on our priority lists. It is me, 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 or you, 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 but very seldom us. People just don't touch the way they used to. Loneliness is spreading like a disease, and I will show you that it actually is a disease. You've probably heard that in the big cities, more than 50% of all households only contain one person. Having a poor social network, so being lonely, increases your likelihood of dying prematurely. So there is an increased mortality risk with being lonely that is as high as smoking 40 cigarettes a day. And the mortality risk of loneliness is higher than being severely overweight. It is not a pretty story. So where does my research come into this strong talk about the vital importance of touch for everyone? Well, I am a neuroscientist and I have a huge interest in the human touch system. I study the nerve fibers that go from your skin and up to your brain. Because when you're touched, that touch starts a, uh, an electrical signal that travels in a nervous fiber all the way up to the cortex of your brain. Oh, okay, it's not like a strong electrical signal. It's not like you go every time you're touched. It's just a weak electrical signal, but it's, it's very, very important. And when that reaches a particular part of your brain cortex, that's when you feel the touch. You think that you feel with your skin? nuh -uh. You feel it in your brain, okay? So the human touch system can be divided into one and two parts. Let's call part number one the describing touch system. So if you put your hands in your pockets or in your handbags, you can identify what is in them by using the describing touch system. You can tell a coin from a paper clip and a paper clip from a safety pin by using this touch system. It is a fairly non-emotional experience that simply describes the physical features of the touch. Now this type of describing touch travels in nerve fibers from the skin to your brain in large, very sturdy, efficient, big, large diameter nerve fibers. So um, you look a little worried, you don't have to worry, they're not this big in your bodies. This is just a model. So if nerve fibers were this big, we would have bodies that were like enormous, we'd only be three people in the audience. Okay, so, but let's just drop the uh, describing touch system for now because I simply don't find it very intriguing. I like system number two, the effective touch system, the emotional touch system. Because every time you're touched, that touch will change your emotional status. It will change how you feel. A touch will make you feel safer, happier, comforted, socially connected to other people, a feeling that you're included. It could also make you feel sad or angry or even disgusted. 
Effective touch changes how you feel. It changes your emotions. Now, this type of touch travels from the skin to the brain in thin, elegant, old-fashioned nerve fibers that like to take things very slowly. I've studied these fibers for a long, long time, and we've named them CT afferents. The CT system is something that we've studied for 10 years, and I have a special technique in my laboratory where I can eavesdrop on the electrical signals traveling in these elegant nerve fibers. So I have fine, tiny, tiny needles that I stick into nice, nice people that volunteer. <laughs> and I get them into these small, small nerve fibers occasionally. And when I do, it's, it's a happy day. And I've been able, through that technique, to find out exactly what these CT fibers like. And boy, are they picky. They like the touch to be light on the skin, to be moving slowly, but not too slow. And they like the touch to be slightly warm, actually around skin temperature. And if you think about it and take those features and put them together, what that resembles is a human-to-human -human gentle caress of the skin. And if you think about that even further, it, it seems like we have a dedicated, specialized nervous system that just sits there, and its sole role is for us to touch one another. We have a designated nervous system for hugging. We're meant to hug. So, activating and using the CT afferents, you all have them. You have tons of them in your skin. You just have to exploit them. And if you do, you can imagine, well, the, the main basic purpose of this effective touch system is for the newborn child to form a long-lasting bond early on with his caregivers. But those types of bonds through touch, we can form all through our lifetime. Friends can make new friends through touch. Lovers form their bonds through touch, right? And what you can do is to stretch out a hand and just briefly touch the shoulder of someone else, and that person will feel less lonely because that forms a weak connection to another person. So what I would like for you to do is to just go out there tonight and start your mission and <laughs> cure off loneliness and touch more.